Hello everyone, my name is Jerome Green. Welcome aboard Magic Bus Schedule Number 1055. This is a non-passenger service to Spokane Valley Mall for the 2022 National Night Out event. On this trip, we will be making a brief stop at the Corner Door Cafe in Millwood, Washington for a pickup of donated items and will continue on eastbound to the Spokane Valley. of your good, fine, quality work as a bus, bus uh, loader. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hand. <laughs> I'm going to give okay. you a hand. See you later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I'll put this to good use. Okay. <laughs> five years of experience in the motor carrier transportation industry. I also was the former director of Spokane Scenic Tours. Since 2014, the Magic Bus and I have been helping people in need by collecting donations and supplies from various communities 
to be transported to neighborhood centers, food banks, and emergency shelters in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and outlying areas. Upon arrival this afternoon, I will be setting up drums and other instruments for kids of all ages to interact with the Magic Bus flashback classic tunes. This helps adults and kids in particular to build up self-esteem and to show off their artistic talents. Counseling, but we do education, so a lot of prevention programming. We implement a lot of programs that youth can participate in um, to help them learn those like refusal skills and those social emotional skills that they need when they're younger. So that way, when they get older and they're confronted with situations in which people might ask them to use drugs or alcohol, um, they can have they have the ability to say no and to explain why um, it doesn't fit into their values and whatnot. Um, and then we also give a lot of education to parents so they can help have those conversations with their kids. Because it is really hard to have a conversation with a child about using um, alcohol or drugs and whatnot, especially in the society we live in, in which drugs and alcohol are often seen as a rite of passage. So it's hard for adults, for parents to have those conversations with kids um, and really uh, get those their values across to their kids um, while also still, you know, letting them maintain their autonomy and all of that. Everybody makes it happen. It's a, it's a group effort, definitely. Yeah, every child that can be helped by therapy should have access to that therapy. And we want to make sure that's a reality for our Spokane County children. Elevationspokane.org. Check us out. It's a lot of fun.
Hi, my name is Ryan Sanger. I'm a trooper with the Washington State Patrol here in Spokane. We're here at National Night Out 2022. Uh, I'm here with one of our recruiters. We're looking for new young troopers to come out and apply and help us out here in the agency and, and just to be out here with our community. We love this event and we're going to be continuing to come every year and uh, we'd, we'd like to see you come out and support us all. Thank you.
live in the state of Washington, you're required to have that voter education card. So folks can come see us for that free class and it covers them nationwide for a lifetime. There's no renewal process. Glad you guys came out. Check everything out. That's what we're here for. Daniel Conrad with the United States Border Patrol. Uh, our agency is here to represent the U.S. Border Patrol this uh, event. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, the U.S. Border Patrol is responsible for securing the U.S. border from cross-border smuggling, whether it be from persons that don't have visas to come into the country, uh, narcotics, contraband, weapons, what have you, terrorists, weapons of mass effect. And uh, that's our primary focus. We have a bunch of different assets. We have air assets, sensors, horseback, snowmobiles, and ATVs. Uh, all-terrain vehicles and we'll uh, drive back and forth across the border up on the uh, Canadian line down on the Mexican border I understand you have a special guest that's going to be accompanying you today well I do I'd like to in introduce Smokey Bear come on in Smokey Smokey Bear is here! We're going to talk a little bit about fire safety and fire prevention with Smokey. You know, Smokey is here to remind us 
all that we need to not play with matches or lighters because Smokey does not want anybody to get burnt or to get hurt or injured or anything like that. It's very important. And Smokey wants to make sure that all the boys and girls know if they ever find matches or lighters or anything like that to tell a grown-up right away and get those picked up and put away because we don't play with those types of things. And that's what Smokey wants everybody to know is to be safe. If they have questions, go to their babysitters, moms, dads, whoever they're living with and ask to get their questions answered when it comes to fire safety. And always think about Smokey. If you're not sure what to do, ask yourself, is this what Smokey would do? Would Smokey want me to do this? And a lot of times that'll help you get through those questions. So thank you, Smokey. You see the turntable? My name is Ross. I hope you enjoyed the tour in the open house here at Station 98, Spokane County Fire District 9. Well, I truly had a great time here at the 2022 National Night Owl event here in Spokane Valley, Washington at the Spokane Valley Mall. It was a great event that brings the law enforcement community together along with our neighbors, visitors, as well as others to join in for this wonderful event. This event taught me, as well as others, about crime prevention, safety. The kids had a great opportunity climbing on, on these big trucks and to explore emergency vehicles. And certainly it's uh, quite a 
uh, learning education what these vehicles are capable of doing and what they're used for. And this, this uh, event brings the community together in a very cohesive way. Well, I'm getting ready to sign off this evening here at the Spokane Valley Mall, August 6, 2022. I want to thank the Sheriff Department, Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich. I want to thank the Sheriff Community Oriented Policing Effort. They call it SCOPE. And as well as the kids, the families, and also the various law enforcement uh, officials. We also want to thank our community helpers for being here. So everything turned out good. Well, we're signing off. Farewell and have a wonderful day. Happy trails to you.